Welcome to Fortune Tech Debate, where we discuss the issues of the day in two minutes. Today we're talking about whether cord cutting is finally sending cable on its way out. Jeff, what do you think? I think yes. RIP cable, it's done. People have finally realized it's a stupid product. It's a bad value. The age of streaming's upon us. We've hit a tipping point, and I think there's no going back. Really, I don't know, because it seems like, you know, streaming's up, but people are still necessarily not leaving cable. Streaming up, streaming, a new study came out, streaming is up. We're watching 212% more streaming than we did a year ago. But that doesn't mean that people aren't watching cable also. Old folks are watching cable, a few legacy people are still doing it, but I cut the cord 10 years ago, I'm never going back, and I don't know anyone else who cut cable and has returned. The trend, I think, is inexorably one way. Yeah, I mean, it's interesting. I mean, a lot of people do it because they want to save money, but in the end, you get certain package, and then you get Hulu, you might have Amazon Prime, and then you also have high-speed internet, and it ends up kind of costing the same. So. Oh, no, no, about the same. You got a good point on the economics. Once upon a time, cord cutting was supposed to be like 10 bucks compared to a lot. The reality is, but everyone pays for high-speed internet anyways. That's kind of like, you know, getting water, electricity. And then in my case, I don't know, I've got 40 bucks for Hulu, and I've got uh, 10 bucks for Netflix, and a bit more for baseball, and it adds up, but it's still much cheaper than cable. And you know what? I don't get a whole block of channels that I don't watch and don't want to watch. That's fair, but having too many channels is better than too little. A lot of sports fans still struggle with finding exactly the right lineup. Yeah, sports used to be the one thing kept people attached to cable, but increasingly you're finding them other places. Amazon's streaming sports, Hulu's streaming a lot of sports, and the leagues eventually, I think, are leaving the cable bundles. Soon that's going to be fixed. That's true, but also for sports fans, you have to consider... For example, YouTube TV went down when the NBA opened up this season and during the World, World Cup. World Cup and Super Bowl. That was bad. <laughs> You're right on that. However, it's getting much better. I've been watching streaming baseball for years, early years. It would break up all the time. That's something that's almost fixed. Two years, that's not going to be a problem. I think the key word there is almost. Maybe in a few years it'll be on the way out, but I think cable might hold out okay. for a bit longer. Enjoy your cable. You're a dying breed. <laughs> well, that's all the time we have. Come to fortune.com for more tech debate.